Honorable, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Deputy President, the French King Louis XIV is remembered for a very familiar, well-known saying. He said, L'État c'est moi. I am the state. But there is an even more appropriate quote by King Louis XIV relevant to the whole Inkandla saga. And I quote, it says, It is legal because I wish it. And that is what happened at Inkandla. And how does the ANC benches react? They take the, qu the, the quote, The king can do no wrong. Now, Honorable Speaker, the task of Parliament is to uphold the Constitution. Section 55 of the Constitution deals with the powers of the National Assembly. And it says the National Assembly must provide for mechanisms to ensure accountability and to maintain oversight of the executive. Today we are talking about this. This wonderful, wonderful, lavish, taxpayers paid estate. We're talking about this. Now, who is the owner of this? Who is the owner of this? The Honorable President is the owner of this. He must be the luckiest man in the world. Not only did he win the lottery of a million, he won it 246 consecutive times. Now, the ANC sent into that committee three members to protect the President. And th six of them, but three of them were the, the stalwarts. The first one was the Honorable Motsecha. And if that honorable member knew anything about the law, he should have recused himself because he's conflicted. You were supposed to do oversight over the president, the same president that appointed your wife as a minister in his cabinet. That's what you did. And then, then honorable speaker, there were the on other a, two on ladies. A, on a point of order, honorable speaker. Honorable. On a point of order. Honorable Mulder, can you take well, your seat? that... I'm raising a point of order. It's very sexist and patriarchal to suggest that a woman leader is appointed because he is a, she is a wife to somebody else. We strongly object to that. It's sexist. It's, it's patriarchal. It's archaic. It's uncivilized. It does not belong to a democratic South Africa. And where's this parliament? Order, Speaker. Honorable Mulder. Honorable Speaker, a point of order is no, not no, wait, sexism, is nepotism. Played. Honorable Mulder, uh, do you want to please just withdraw the issue of the wife of, because Madam, so somebody, Madam she honorable. is an honorable member. Of course, of course. She's an honorable member. Honorable Speaker, may I address you on your request? Honorable Speaker. No, I, Honorable Mulder. I have to address you. Yes, you have to address me. Thank you. So I'm, so I'm, doing, I'm addressing you. In the reaction Honorable to Speaker. the leader of the Communist Party, the fact of the matter is I did not say that the Honorable Minister was Honorable appointed Honorable Speaker, point of order. Honorable, Honorable, Honorable Mulder, you said you were going to address me. Now I see you talking to Honorable uh, Zimande. Okay, ma'am, I will address you then. Honorable Speaker. Yes, Honorable Member. No, please, Honorable Members, when we are still in the middle of something, let's, let's just wait till we finish dealing with this issue. Honorable, Honorable Mulder. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I did not say that the Honorable Minister of Basic Education was appointed because she's married to a certain gentleman. I did not say that. What did you say? I said that the Honorable, Mr. Uh, Honorable Motsecha, who is supposed to do oversight of the President, is conflicted because he must judge the actions of the President by coincidence, the same person who appointed his wife. That's the reality. That's no, the Honorable Mulder, please don't be unfair to us. Don't be unfair to us. Fine. You can't make a reference to an honorable member of the house in the kind of se honorable Mulder, do you mind taking your seat in the kind of actually sexist and dismissive in the i would like you to withdraw it honorable Mulder. Yes. honorable speaker honorable speaker it is not what i've said is not sexist in any way but the fact is the fact is, I've got some more important things to say 
And because I want to say them, I will gladly withdraw. I've got no problem with that. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Then, Madam Speaker, there were the two ladies. Honorable Speaker, can I be recognized? Can I be recognized, Honorable Speaker? Yes, Honorable Member, what is the point on which you rise? The point I want, Honorable uh, Mulder, that picture he has been uh, holding to show the nation that the president built the home state with taxpayers' money, it is not true. Madam Here Speaker. we talk. Madam Speaker. That picture is misleading. Madam Speaker. That picture Madam is misleading because there's a. Please, Madam Speaker. On a point of order. Madam Speaker, on a point of order. Honorable Speaker, may I proceed? On a point of order, Madam Speaker. I have asked to see the picture so that I can uh, deal with that issue. There you go. Very nice. That's the house of the president. Proceed, Honorable Mulder. Yes, Honorable. Okay. Honorable Speaker. Then there are the two other ladies who led the attack to protect the president, the Honorable Kubai and the Honorable Dlakude. How were they upholding the Constitution and doing oversight over the executive? Let me show you. There. This is what they did. They didn't have in front of them the Constitution. In front of them, they had Q-Tex and they were painting their nails. Point of order. This is what they did. This is how they upheld the Constitution. Now, Honorable Chairperson, Honorable, Honorable Members, please. Honorable we would Speaker. like to hear what Honorable Mulder is saying. That now is we can't how hear. Seriously, the ANC took oversight. 246 million taxpayers' money was spent on the private residence of the President. If something is wrong, you can't vote it right. It remains wrong. So I'm sorry to say, Honorable Speaker, but the only appropriate thing to do with this ad hoc whitewash report of the ad hoc committee is the following. That's all you can do.